We're focusing on funding in Silicon Valley, and incubators and accelerator programs have become a way of life in Silicon Valley. Startup companies rely on them to help find capital and expertise to jumpstart their businesses. But for Chinese startup companies looking to tap into Silicon Valley funding, figuring out how to access these special networks, well, it can be very difficult. But as Mark New reports, a special incubator is looking at bridging that gap. Inside this 13,000 square foot building, 30 companies are part of Silicon Valley's first ever U.S.-China technology startup incubator. InnoSpring is bringing guidance to a rapidly rising number of Chinese returnees, like Northeast China native Zhou Yi, whose company, AccuSilicon, produces chips that improve network speed. The advantage of Chinese entrepreneurs, I think they're all very hungry. Productive networking. InnoSpring has just launched a new accelerator program where it will select 10 companies to invest $100,000 in. InnoSpring President <laughs> Eugene Zhang says those selected not only get office space, but also advice on a business plan, help with marketing, recruiting, and bookkeeping. In return, InnoSpring gets a 5 to 8 percent equity stake in the startup companies, which are all looking to go global. We, we see there's such a potential for companies at a very young stage to capitalize or take advantage of both markets at the same time. CTO Zhang Sangping just sent a message through Do Mobile's app called Zapia. Whether a mobile user is on a mountain or an airplane, photos, videos, and games can still be shared among devices because Zapia creates its own network. In four months in China, Do Mobile gained one million users, enough to convince the company it should try the U.S. market right away. But we still find it very difficult. We turn to the Bay Area, try to start a business here. We find InnoSpring provide quite an informative advice in this area to help us to sell this company and to, to find a continuous fund. The vast majority of companies here were formed by people who spent time in China, then came to the United States, and are now trying to use that experience to capture both markets. But there are also some companies that were formed by people who are getting their first exposure to the China market. Empower's technology converts electricity from AC to DC and back, cutting costs for solar electricity, energy storage, and electric vehicles. Founded nine months ago in Silicon Valley, Empower connected with InnoSpring and is now actively engaged with companies in China. It's contacts. Uh, it's it's figuring out how to best do business in China. And being introduced by somebody that people respect opens up doors in a completely different way. I expect with somebody like myself who's not Chinese by birth. So, okay. <laughs> okay. InnoSpring continues to look for the next big global trend with applications for its accelerator program closing at the end of August. Mark New, CCTV, Santa Clara, California.